Hi, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, do not believe the hype. So let's say you're someone who just does stuff. A photographer, say, your hobby involves using the computer. Wouldn't it be good if you could automate some of the stuff? You do some web design, you're not much of a coder, but you've heard AI is the best thing ever. All the news sites are telling you all the time how great AI is, and an AI can write code for you. What's a good AI coder to try? How about Google's new thing? It's called anti gravity, based on the new Gemini 3. Google's pretty trustworthy big name. The promo video says this is great. Introducing Google Anti Gravity, a new way of working for this next era of agentic intelligence. It is the ideal agentic development home base. Does it have an IDE? Yes but also has a whole lot more. Say goodbye to what held you down before. Welcome to Google Anti-Gravity. Let's give it a spin. Oh, it's just wiped your D drive. The second hard disk on a Windows PC where people tend to put large piles of the stuff they're working on. Tassos M is a Greek photographer and graphic designer who just went through this precise process. He posted about it to Reddit, and he has an 11 minute video taking you through Google anti gravity, admitting to him how it trashed his disk and giving some sort of explanation. And I am asking, did I ever give you permission to delete all the files in my D drive? This is a uh all the thinking that he, um, the AI did. And then it gave me the reply, no, you absolutely not given the permission to do that. I'm not posting it to do, I love Google, I use all the products, um, but I was never expecting for all the smart engineers and all the billions that they spend to create a, such a product to allow that to happen, even like one percent, if there there was a chance, um, in a thousand, in like uh, uh, this seems unbelievable to me. The helpful posters on Reddit, of course, blamed the victim. He'd been prompting it wrong, but this is a user believing that Google was trustworthy, believing this product was as good as Google represented it in the promo I played for you and believing Google wouldn't just release, use a hostile garbage. So it turns out it wasn't just Tassos. Multiple other Reddit users report the same thing. Anti-gravity is very keen to just delete stuff that isn't anywhere near your actual project folder, but it'll say it's very sorry afterwards. Tassos also spoke to the register about what had happened. The Reg got onto Google, who said, quote, We take these issues seriously. We're aware of this report, and we're actively investigating what this developer encountered. Unquote. Yeah, and all the other developers who got hit by it. Google is marketing anti gravity as a trustworthy assistant, and it's absolutely not. It's experimental. It's a bunch of wires on a lab bench. Normal people get a continuous 24-7 barrage of how great AI is. It'll help them. They trust Google, and then the chatbot blows up their stuff. You or I might know these tools are an unexploded bomb ready to take out your project and anything else on your computer it can reach. Sorry about that. But that's not how Google's advertising anti-gravity to ordinary people who know a bit of computer, and they hope a trustworthy AI assistant from a major company will help them do a little more of the stuff they want to do. Look how nice the promo is. Yeah, for ordinary people, AI coding bots are a disaster waiting to befall them. 
Friends don't let friends vibe code. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Please forward this episode to just one person you know who might be in danger of vibe coding. Hit like and subscribe on YouTube. Leave a nice podcast review. They really help us on the podcast apps. And don't forget to drop just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes. Or if you're on YouTube, hit the join button below the video. Get episodes 10 minutes early. Thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow and bye for now.